Thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather presentation. This is Alex Tardy, Meteorologist, National Weather Service in San Diego. Here we'll talk about the potential for significant rainfall with tropical cyclone Rosa and the interaction with a Pacific storm. As of today, Friday, tropical cyclone Rosa is a category four hurricane. As shown on these vivid satellite imagery, it is currently undergoing eye wall replacement and it will be weakening as we go through the weekend rather rapidly. Moisture, however, will be a big player. So tropical cyclone Rosa to the south, that hurricane's moisture will come up, bend towards San Diego and move into the Colorado Valley. A separate system labeled as storm number two will tap an atmospheric river, as you see here. And the two will basically combine over Southern California. Most of our precipitation will come from the storm number two, but we will see precipitation as early as Sunday night and Monday from tropical cyclone Rosa remnants. How much rain? Well, computer models are showing big variations in totals. Here's an example for San Diego and Palm Springs. Where will the remnants go? Well, the path is not the main concern with this storm, though is it is it expected to move across northern Baja and into southwest Arizona as shown here. Probably will weaken pretty quickly to a tropical storm strength as it hits Baja and maybe a depression as it enters into the Arizona California border. Currently, however, it is a strong major category four. Why is it going to weaken? Part of it is the water temperatures north of about 25 latitude drop off rapidly currently from the 80s to the 70s when you go further north. Now the area where it has strengthened into a category four also is much above normal as shown here. So the water is uh, warmer than it even usually is in that area. But when you get up into California and the northern coast, our water temperatures have dropped quite a bit over the past four weeks, back to near, near normal ranges. What about this Pacific storm we're talking about? Well, a separate Pacific trough, that was storm number two, will come in and impact our region, giving us the best chance of rainfall on Tuesday. It'll take a while for it to move through, so we may still see some showers lingering into Wednesday, and the potential for some thunderstorms. The two different moisture sources, the first one will be Rosa coming up Sunday night and Monday morning. That'll get scooted off to the east rather quickly and the approaching trough will replace it. But that also has a plume of moisture or a small atmospheric river, we call it. Now the remnants of Rosa, especially in the middle part of the atmosphere, will first come up and develop showers and a few thunderstorms early Monday. And then that'll get kicked out into Utah in the Four Corners region. But notice the rather deep and sharp trough for this time of year, or Pacific storm. That'll bring some rather gusty winds out ahead of it and also enhance our showers and thunderstorms as we go into Tuesday, perhaps lingering into Wednesday. Moisture, where is it coming from? Well, as shown here, the moisture from Rosa will come up from the south and get quickly carried up into the Colorado River Valley and then moisture from the Pacific Atmospheric River will come in next and that'll be on Tuesday. So first rose on Monday, early Monday moisture comes up and then the Pacific System moisture comes through on Tuesday, may linger into Wednesday. So what are we expecting for rainfall? Well with the track of the cyclone that'll be the heaviest rainfall because of the remnants of the hurricane but as you see here, we are expecting significant precipitation even for Southwest California. That includes coastal mountains and even into the deserts. A lot of places, a quarter to almost an inch of rain. And locally, some places could see well over an inch, up around two inches of rain, depending on where those heavier showers and thunderstorms set up. And also keep in mind, we will have some enhancement over the mountains as that southwest flow picks up on Tuesday ahead of the storm system. What about the swell? We're looking for a pretty good swell coming in from the south 
as shown here from Rosa, starting as early as Saturday morning and then kind of peaking uh, later on Sunday, but also continuing on Monday. South facing beaches will see the biggest impact with the largest surf of five to eight feet from this south swell. The swell will dissipate and will return to a westerly swell on Tuesday ahead of that Pacific storm. What about the high surf and the high tides? Uh, we are looking at some high tides around five feet as shown here on this map in the afternoon for the next several days. What about the winds? We expect some gusty winds, not uh, directly from Tropical Cyclone Rosa, but from the Pacific trough that comes in uh, mainly on late Monday into Tuesday. Those winds could be pretty gusty uh, in our mountains and desert slopes before they get a uh, soaking rain. Um, and then we'll also see a little bit of wind in the uh, 20 to 25 mile per hour peak gust range for our major cities, our valleys and foothills as shown here. These winds will be coming in uh, mostly from the south to southwest direction from that area. Here's the summary of what we're looking at. A period of unusual rain for early October. Uh, we've had it in the past before. Uh, we saw unusual rain in October 2016, also in 17 in September. But this looks pretty significant for this time of year, heaviest on Tuesday, October 2nd. Showers develop as early as late Sunday night and Monday, keep that in mind, from the south. The Pacific storm will meet up with the tropical cyclone Rosa. Uh, it'll be much weaker at that time and kick that moisture to the east into the deserts. Currently it's a category four, but it'll weaken pretty rapidly north of 25 latitude. Uh, expected to be tropical storm strength winds when it hits the Baja region and then uh, weaker than that when it enters into Arizona or extreme southeast California. Uh, that'll probably be early Tuesday morning or sometime Monday night. Rainfall totals most places quarter to three quarters of an inch. Um, there will be some areas well over an inch though uh, even on the coast so keep that in mind. So that could cause some uh, urban flooding. Uh, there is concern for the burn scars, uh, so potential rainfall rates of a quarter to a half inch, and that could be enough to trigger some debris flows. Uh, winds are not expected to be an issue directly um, in our region from Rosa, though in Arizona and Southeast California, they could see some gusty winds. Um, our, our region will be the high deserts and mountains as the Pacific storm comes through, as shown in that prior graphic. Uh, most areas will, will see 25 uh, mile per hour peak gusts, but the desert slopes uh, over 50 miles per hour. Uh, south swell coming up uh, will increase on Saturday um, and that'll be all the way through Sunday and Monday before it shifts to the west. Uh, surf in response will be uh, especially south facing areas uh, four to seven feet with even some local um, swell surf heights getting up to 10 feet in Orange County. Again this is our summary the way it stands now you really need to check latest forecasts at weather.gov uh, or on your phone mobile weather.gov so that uh, you can get the latest information. And you can even monitor rainfall on the link we show here, which directly uh, comes from our weather.gov page. Thanks for tuning in and play it safe. Uh, traffic will be difficult uh, on Monday and early next week and maybe even some urban flooding due to the unusual rainfall.